management that is going to make a great city. As tourism has grown over the last decade, so has the popularity of short-term rentals. Some neighborhoods have been overrun by bachelorette parties and Airbnbs. And just last week, the Metro Council approved new regulations to limit short-term rentals. Do you think those regulations go far enough, or do we need to do more to protect our neighborhoods? Mayor. We'll need to do more. Uh, now, when I was vice mayor, uh, the short-term rental issue came up, and I appointed a task force to try and reach a good resolution for neighborhoods, for everyone involved. And we didn't get there because the state preempted much of the work that, that we were trying to do. But it's clear to me that uh, short-term rentals have some uh, negative effects on our community. They drive up rents. They change neighborhoods, and frankly, a lot of our neighbors uh, suffer as a result of the parties taking place there. And so I, I think there's more that needs to be done to regulate them. That's why this, in this last budget cycle, I increased the fee for short-term rentals. I increased the fee because we needed more inspectors, and now we're in the process of hiring two more inspectors to go out and do enforcement with short-term rentals. I think it's important for us to make sure that our neighborhoods are protected uh, from this kind of activity. Councilman? Well, of course we need to do more. You know, there are four or 5,000 STRs in almost no time at all that are legal. There may be just as many that are illegal. The legal ones pay taxes, but they're hotel taxes. A little bit goes to the Barnes Fund, but they're hotel taxes. So it shows the fundamental imbalance when the STR in your neighborhood is paying hotel taxes that end up supporting tourism downtown. The creation of many hotels in neighborhoods from STRs is also should be of the gravest concern because we need to have neighborhoods. And once you start pricing neighborhoods at a commercial level, which STRs often end up being a commercial level, well, then you're destroying the neighborhood, you're pushing people out, they're not able to stay in Nashville. And we need to have a Nashville for everyone, particularly the people who are here. And they don't need to be pushed out by this kind of new type of, of housing, hotel, tourist housing. Though I do understand to Nashville's credit that everybody who comes has a marvelous experience in the neighborhoods. Of course they would. We have a marvelous experience in our own neighborhoods. But yeah, we have to do more, and I agree with the mayor. Let's get on that. Okay. Mayor Brother. Well, thank you. Uh, my opponent had the opportunity to get on it at the last council meeting, and instead of stepping up and making a decision, standing up for the people who live in Nashville, he decided to hang out in the back room and not cast a vote on legislation that would have done more to regulate short-term rentals in our city. This is another instance where his campaign says one thing, he pays for people to say one thing. And when he is given the opportunity to act, he does something different. 